So my presentation is on estimation, something very simple that we all learn when we're extremely young. The goal is to just bring it to your forefront of how often we actually use this. Um, a definition, a rough estimate of the value, number, quantity, or extent of something. So for example, like on a day-to-day -day basis when we use estimation, say in the morning, we're still laying in bed, we don't want to get up and go to class, we gotta think, how much time is it gonna take me to actually get up and go? So travel time is a good one. Say it's a Friday night and we're having a couple drinks with friends, can we have that one extra drink or are we gonna be hung over the next day if we do? Um, daily calories, a lot of people don't like to sit and count their calories for the day, so you just estimate if you had a chocolate muffin in the morning, should you eat one for dinner too? Um, procrastination, I know watching a bunch of TV at night, can you watch another episode or should you get to homework right away? Um, grades, after you take a test, um, you estimate about how well you think you did, maybe you should start studying more for the next test right away, maybe you're okay. Um, TV time again, can you watch more episodes or should you get to other things? Um, a more crucial one would probably be bank account balance. I know a lot of us don't write down how much we're spending right after we spend it. So we usually estimate about a rough idea of how much money we have. Um, a good example is going to the grocery store. As a college student, we generally have about a rough estimate of what we should be spending as we walk in the door and we don't really want to go over that. So let's say a simple grocery list of bananas, lunch meat, milk, eggs, maybe some frozen pizza and some granola bars. So as we go through, there's cl clearly going to be prices on everything. So you can say, maybe you got a pound of bananas for 59 cents a pound. Uh, maybe a pound of lunch meat, you're going to put some in the freezer for $5.99 a pound. A uh, gallon of milk, about $3.50. Eggs, $1.98. Frozen pizza, maybe $5 for a semi-decent one. And some granola bars. And you could say, this maybe averages around $21. And if you go up to the checkout too and you have a total of $30, $40, maybe the cashier made a mistake. A mo another example is estimating a jar of candy. Not something you do every day, but it can be useful if you're trying to win something. So say we have a jar of jelly beans. This is a picture of just the bottom of the jar. Obviously, the jelly beans would be close together, but this is my makeshift picture. So if you count the total number of jelly beans just on the bottom of the jar, we get a total of 15 jelly beans. And then next, what we can do is, this would be the side of the jar, and if you count the total going up the side of the jar, you can see how many layers of jelly beans you have. And like I said again, these would all be flat together. But if you count the colored ones going up the side, we get six jelly beans total. So then you have 15 jelly beans on the bottom and then six layers of jelly beans. So if you take 15 times six gives you 90. So you're estimating maybe about 90 jelly beans in that jar. So I also brought a container of candy, but I made it more difficult for you guys because they're different sizes. But you guys can estimate. I'm giving them, say like 10 seconds, so you can't just sit and count. <laughs> but whoever estimates the closest can take the candy home. I'll be the last one to You guys can do it too. No, we don't need to. Maybe you'll we'll be shared. Take, I'll donate my candy to him. <laughs> so then in conclusion, um, there's many daily applications of estimation. We do it every day more than we think we do. Um, it's intuitive. We do it without thinking about it. And everyone can do it. You start off very young estimating. Any questions? <laughs>